It's only me again, long time no see. Didn't make a video last week because I just kind of needed a little break. A little t I say time to myself, I was still working my bum off. Uh, yeah, I'm here with a video this week. I'm just doing the classic thing I like to do where I just film the entire week of what I'm up to at uni. Before I get into the week, I thought I would fill you in with what I did last week because I did quite a bit of work. If you've been watching my videos, you'll be familiar with this book. This is my daily practice book. Well, I'm supposed to draw something in here every day. It's like a task we've been given by you. Um, I draw in it most days, sometimes. I try my best to draw in it. We can basically do whatever we want in it, but every week they'll give us a little prompt, a little, hey, do this. Last week we got given collage. So that's what this is. This one's a bit of a mess. I don't really like it. And then I did some classic fruit ones. These little caterpillars living in an apple. And then just, I found these little cute fruit people in a magazine. So I thought I'd do a little thing about them. This is my favorite one. I don't know what it is but I like the way it looks. So that's what I did in my daily practice. And then I've got this book, which is for so lesson related things. And we got given our brief last week, which is what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the term, working on this brief. This is what I did last video, if you wanna see these being made. Um, watch my last video. Actually, I didn't show this in my last video. I did this on Sunday, a little drawing of a, of a woman. Our brief was we have to draw a hundred of, well I have to draw a hundred eye eyes. I'll pop a picture up on screen of what an eye eye is in case you're not familiar. Um, they're a really weird looking animal. Everyone in the class got given a different animals and I got the eye eye, which I'm quite happy with actually because I quite like the animal. A lot you can do with it. So this is my first page of initial sketches of the animal and then um, <laughs> this is what we did in lesson. This is a mess. This is just a page full of lots and lots and lots of ideas of different things I could draw because obviously we've got to draw it a hundred times and each time we've kind of got to draw it differently. Lots of ideas of different ways to draw it. Just some more sketches of various eye eyes. Quite messy. Didn't really take me that long. And then this is sort of development sketches. None of these are actually part of my hundred. These are just practices for ones which are part of my hundred. Thumbnails and quick sketches and ideas go in this book. A couple of faces there. This was a little layout for a comic idea I had. And then this is what I did today in lesson. <laughs> Various different ideas for things I could do with my eye eye. This is all little practice sketches and these, what I'm about to show you now, is like the official finished pieces that I've done so far. I've only managed to get 14 done so far so I really need to pick up the pace because really I should be doing 25 a week if I want to stay on top of it but that just didn't happen because these take so long. So I got this one which is sort of a repeat pattern. I wanted to focus on the hands because they've got like this really creepy hand where one of the fingers just like really long. I've done quite a few sketches of just the hands. This again is off the hands. If you can see them, they're quite well hidden. Quite bonkers this one, but I like it. All of these are in black and white because the first 50 have to be in black and white. The second 50 we can start using colour. Some more collages of various different faces. These two I actually did today, which I'll show you properly in a second because I filmed a little bit in class today. Um, I did this where they're all sort of piled on top of each other and all squished. And then this, one's, this one is a bit creepy. <laughs> oh look, it's got ears. Boom. I thought, aye aye, why don't I just like do a bit of a pun and I found these two eyes in a magazine so I chopped them out and made this kind of creepy looking <laughs> poster. Oh this one's fun, this is probably my favourite one so far, which you saw um, the sketches for before in that book. An aye aye eating, eating his dinner. What they do, they like sort of, because they've got that one really long finger, they use that to tap on a tree and then they'll hear like different vibrations in the tree and that'll help them like figure out where like the little, little bug is. So another one. Um, this one I spelt nocturnal wrong. I missed out my C, but we move on. Uh, this one was just simple, nice, quick and easy to do. And this one of them in the trees. They've got really bright eyes, so I wanted to do a painting which emphasised the eyes. And then this is quite a realistic one. This is the first one I did. So that's everything I've done I was up to last week. I will show you a few clips from today of what I was up to in lesson.
Also, if you've been watching my videos since my foundation videos, you'll be familiar with Eleanor's Corner. We did A-levels together, foundation together, and we're now doing, we're on the same course at uni, and she's very, very good, and I'm sure uh, if you like what I do, I'm sure you'll love what she does as well. Her animal was a giraffe weevil, I'll pop a picture of it up now, so you can get a reference of what she's drawing, so she's got to draw this a hundred times, and I just thought it'd be nice for you to see what she's been up to uh, for the past week. I will link her Instagram in the description it would be lovely if you could um, go look at her stuff because she's very good. So she's been up to all sorts, she's got uh, this nice illustration which is really cute where it's like big and I was like oh nice one, good idea, might yank that and then she's got more cartoony style, stylized it a bit, giving it a bit of character which is very cute. Oh and this one was my absolute favourite, she made it into a Halloween costume and I love it so much, I think she painted that in gouache and then finally she's made this sort of thing out of paper because giraffe weevils wrap the little babies in a leaf, she wanted to do something with that so she made this little paper thing to show the little mum wrapping up the baby egg in a leaf and finally she had this cool idea to well she found this page in a magazine and decided to paint a little animal on there which is quite a good idea and I might yank that as well so that's what Ellen has been up to Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, well I've got a potato which is looking a bit questionable, I think it's a little bit out of date, but instead of throwing it away I would make a little potato stamp like we used to do in primary school, um, off my eye eye and just make a bunch of patterns with a potato. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. Oh, I also got to, um, I've got tons and tons of thank you notes that I need to decorate with little, little pink marks because um, I'm hoping to get my Etsy shop updated next week. I'm just waiting to get my prints really and then I will be ready to rock and roll so I'm making a bunch of thank you notes to prepare for that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. I finished with my potatoing. Uh, these were the final ones which I'm probably going to use as part of my 100. It's just a nice fun way to quickly get some done because obviously I've got 100 to do so some just have to be a lot quicker otherwise I'd be here for months doing them all. I ended up cutting a little, um, little round potato stamp as well. Um, I also have all these failed attempts on the floor. I tried to cut a hand into the potato but it just didn't really work. It's really fiddly to do so yeah I don't really think they look like hands uh, but I really like these. Okay, hello, it's uh, Mon- no, mm, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Did a little bit of drawing this morning, so I kind of came up with this messy eye eye, but I kind of like how messy it was, but obviously it was kind of just plain on the page, and I thought, why don't I try and do something with this digitally? We got given a prompt to make sort of like a punk poster with your animal. So I went on Pinterest and I found things which I, were ins I was inspired by, so I really like the colours of this one and just how grainy it is. Just kind of how wacky and it's just like what what's actually going on. I just want something wacky and weird. I have done this which is a mess right now. I'm hoping I can get it to look kind of nice. So yeah I'm just gonna sort of take you along with the thought process of messing and messing and messing and messing about until finally there's something that I kind of like. What about this colour? Maybe not. Maybe it's this the problem with this. Maybe this course doesn't really match. What have I messed about with it? Yeah. So I can like mess about with its colours. Maybe I'll try that. 
to try that and see how that goes. Okay, so I've been fiddling for a bit and this is where I'm up to. I think it's kind of looking somewhere like something I kind of like, maybe. I did a bunch of um, grainy sort of textures like that um, just by going onto Google and yeah, just using the ones that are on there. I feel like it needs a border, maybe that will help it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try and fiddle about with the filter gallery. Um, I haven't messed about with the filter gallery for pff, since my first year of A-levels in graphics. So I'm very, uh, I'm a bit of a novice. How big do I want the boxes? Contrast. Oh, maybe I should keep it like minimal and blurry. Or should I have it like sharp? I quite like it blurry. How big can I get them? I mean, I can, I can keep it for a bit and then if I don't like it, I'll get rid. Oh, I also added in a massive one back here. Get rid of that layer. Ooh! That looks pretty cool. I like it, but I do not like it in this corner. Get rid. Okay, here's the finished piece. I've been feeling about for a bit and yeah, I quite like it. I was messing about with putting like, um, sort of like the venue and the date and things like that, like a real poster, but I just wasn't really liking the way it was looking and I was like, why am I borrowing myself doing this? It's not an actual poster. I don't really do this sort of thing. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you know this is very much not what I do. So I think I've had a good go at it. This was the original drawing, which I did. Um, so yeah, I think I've definitely changed it a lot. Okie doke, it's me again, voiceover Emily has arrived. Here I am doing, yes, that's right, another eye eye. <laughs> All I've been drawing for the past two weeks have been eye eyes. And you know what? I was about to say I'm a bit bored of it, but I'm actually not. I, there's just so many different ways you can draw one. Um, so yeah, I've been having quite a lot of fun with it. I, well, sometimes I've been having fun with it and other times I've just been getting stressed with it. But I'd say most part I'm having fun with it. Um, here I am just doing a sort of realistic one. I found a picture of an eye on the interwebs. And I'd say in general the eye is quite a disgusting looking creature. Um, but in this one picture I found I thought it looked quite cute. In very, very, very rare circumstances you can find a cute picture of an eye eye and I thought oh, I've just got to draw it because I thought it looked adorable with, with, with its little eyes because in most pictures its pupils are tiny like little dots but for some reason in this picture its pupils were quite big and I thought that looked cute to draw that just using a plain old mechanical pencil to get a nice sharp point as well as just a black coloured pencil for the really dark bits because you can't get super dark with a mechanical pencil so just use the coloured pencils to get the blackest of blacks I'm gonna say this took me around two and a half hours to draw, maybe three hours. So yeah, one of the longer ones. Cause I've got to draw a hundred. Some of them, like I'll be like, okay, I've just got to spend a bit more time like this one, but then other ones, I just want to zoom through them to get them done. And actually what I end up doing with this, but I don't show it in this video because it was getting too long. I did it this morning actually. It's currently Saturday when I'm doing this voiceover. What I ended up doing with this drawing was putting it into Photoshop and adding color to it to make cool sort of poster design so with a few of my drawings what I've been doing is messing about with it a bunch in Photoshop which you'll see later on for a couple of drawings maybe just one no two drawings actually you'll see me mess about with Photoshop because it's just a really quick way to get a bunch of variations done to zoom through the hundred because we've only been given four weeks to do this project and one of them weeks we also have to write an essay so yeah not a lot of time to do a hundred drawings Oh, I also just want to quickly say a big thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Woo! I got there last week. How has that happened? It's a bit mad. I did want to do like a nice video for it, maybe a bit of a QA, and a a bit of a giveaway with some of my prints, but I'm just too busy at the moment to do any, any of that. But I want to do it at some point, so maybe that will happen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, it's Wednesday now. I've had a very busy day. Uh, this morning I went looked at a house with my friends for next year. We liked it and we've, we've got it. And uh, my friends have arrived, which is exciting uh, for my, my Etsy shop. So I thought I would open them up. I get them all made by a company called Print.Works www.print.work Oh, fun stickers, 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 stickers. I like stickers. I think I've ordered 14 different prints. 7A6 and 7A5. But I'm scared. <gasps> oh, so pretty. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, they're so nice. <laughs> look how cute. Oh, I love them. Oh, they're really thick as well. Oh, oh, oh. oh and then I got, um, more prints of my postcard sets, the ones that I've got up over there, because they were, they were nearly sold out. Okay, oh gosh, that's hefty. I'm guessing now all these will be my A5 prints. Oh my god, I feel like it's Christmas right now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, lovely. I always get a little bit worried that what if they just don't print, like, how they look like on my screen, like if the colours are turn out different, but these are like look perfect, look how lovely. I ended up getting reprints of my landscapes because um, I'm pretty sure they're sold out now, so I got some more of them. Usually on all my prints I get a little white border around all the edges, but I thought, you know what, I'll try one which doesn't have the white border, and that looks so cool, it's just nice straight to the edge. I end up getting 20 of each, and then, but for these ones I got 30 of each because, I don't know, this is my favourite and I kind of have a feeling that these will sell the best, but I don't know, I could be completely wrong, so yeah. on to Thursday. I came home a uh, Wednesday evening because I wanted to be, be home for the lockdown so came home Wednesday evening and so I'm back in my room, organised my prints all nice and fancy. I think that looks very satisfying. I didn't manage to get any IIs filmed on Wednesday. I did draw an II but hated the way it looked so I didn't film it and then I, I won't use it as part of my 100 because I didn't like it. Um, but other than that, Wednesday was so busy I didn't really get a chance to draw any other eye eyes besides that one which I didn't like. So I thought, right, Thursday I really need to pick the pace up because I didn't manage to do one yesterday and I'm seriously behind. So on Thursday I managed to whip through a bunch really quick and I managed to get 11 done on Thursday, which was very satisfying. How many? I think I did five different edits on Photoshop using a drawing I did last week of where I just painted a bit of a silhouette of the hands. I thought that's quite an interesting shape, I could do more with it. And I thought I'd try and make another sort of punk inspired poster. Maybe this is like the rival band to the other band that was on the poster I did before. There's the eyes spelled in E Y E, and then there's the eyes spelled A Y E S. <laughs> the rival bands. I did that poster, quite liked it, uh, and I had an idea to make a sort of wacky looking pattern and that was all I was going to do, but I really liked the pattern and I thought, hold on, I could probably do more with this pattern. So you'll see it later on in a couple minutes that I end up doing a lot with this pattern which I make. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of faffing about. I probably do about 20 different things before it starts to look like I think I like, just sort of playing around with trial and error, making new layers, thinking, oh no, I don't like that, then deleting the layer, then making another layer, thinking, maybe that's okay, but then deleting it and then doing another layer, then hold on, that's the layer, now keep that one. <laughs> it's a lot of just messing about. So I made that pattern and then I chopped it up to make this even wackier pattern. And then I just went, I went full on insane and inverted the pattern and made this weird color combination thing. And at first uh, I was just messing around with this circle, seeing what I could do with that. And it just wasn't really looking like anything I liked. Tried making it black and white, that was yuck. A lot of trial and error and then eventually I just had the idea to kind of do a digital collage and make, chop up these patterns into the shape of my eye eye and just make an eye eye with these patterns and I actually really ended up liking this idea. For all of this I ended up just using the lasso tool. I have become very close friends with the lasso tool. I think it's, to be precise, it's the polygonal, is that how you say that word? Polygonal, I don't know. 
I ended up using the pol poly polygonal um, lasso tool, I don't know how to say it, to make all of this because I just really like how angular it makes everything and I just, I like exploring with wacky shapes to make this funky looking eye eye. I tried making this arm kind of coming across his leg but it just was blended in too much for the background so got rid and then just copy and pasted the other arm, flipped it round and there we go, that's my eye eye, gave him a little foot and then I had this idea to have like two of them kind of looking like they were doing some handshake and when I put the hands together with a black circle behind it it just created this cool shape and I thought oh I, I could do something with that idea and I came up with the, the secret handshake club and I really like this, this has to be one of my favourite things, um, one of my favourite eye eyes up to date. Hello, it's now Thursday afternoon and you've just seen me working on um, all these bits and bobs which I'm quite happy with. And do you know what I can do now? Tick them off my box. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. I did five. I would really like to get ten done by the end of the day, um, so we'll see how that goes. Because I just need to get a bit quicker with doing them otherwise it's just never gonna get done anyway i think what i'm gonna do now is i got a few etsy orders so i'll pack them and then i'll get cracking with zooming through do you want my click pretty pathetic um zooming through those eye eyes i think i might paint them but really loose and try and do quite a few all at the same time we'll see how that goes <laughs> I'm packing some Etsy orders. It was nice to get back and pack some orders because obviously whilst I've been away at uni I haven't been doing it. My mum and dad have very kindly been looking after the shop for me. My mum will pack the orders and my dad will take them to the post office which is very nice. But yeah I really enjoyed getting back to the good old days of packing. I find it really relaxing to do. Oh and I also think I should mention my shop is now updated with all them prints you saw me unpacking before. I took pictures of them all the other day and got the listings up and running and edited them all to look nice so yeah have a little nosy at that if you're interested the link will be in the description and also whilst I'm here talking about Etsy shops I thought I would give a little shout out to um, my brother's girlfriend Laura has recently started an Etsy shop doing a bunch of really cute crocheted bits and bobs it's called crochet gifts by Laura I will also put that in the description she does things like this and this and this and yeah she's working really hard at it she hasn't asked me to do this I'm just doing it because I want to support her um, so you yeah, have a little nosy at that if you're also interested in her stuff it would it would make her very happy <laughs> the day I painted these eye eyes just using acrylic paint I wanted to get quite a few done because like I say I got a hundred to do got to zoom through some I wanted to just get back to some traditional painting because I've been working on the computer all day so it was nice to get back to some to some painting I decided to just do something um, in acrylic paint I wanted to do something which really highlighted the eyes so I picked the most brightest color I had this really bright uh, lemon yellow is what it's called <laughs> and then black paint uh, this is both this is acrylic paint I watered it down quite a bit in certain areas so it was quite loose and easy to work with <laughs> and then just went straight in with the brush I didn't have any sketches or anything done uh, quite loose quite messy but I quite like the way it looks I tried to make this look like it was appearing from the shadows I don't know if I achieved that but I tried <laughs> moving on to Friday I started the morning by getting my slides up to date because I had an online lesson in the afternoon which I needed where the teacher was going to look at our slides so I needed to make sure that was up to date. A slide is basically just like an online sketchbook, it's how the teachers see our work so get everything nicely arranged on there, edit the pictures to make them look nice and bright, add a little bit of writing here and there but 
you don't really need to write that much so I did that on my slides I've got like nearly 80 slides done now it's a it's a chunky presentation <laughs> finishing off this video by just doing some drawing with my good old colored pencils I love my colored pencils it was nice to get back to using color this week because last week I was only working in black and white because we've got to do 50 black and white and 50 in color and I was going to do black and white this week as well but I just I couldn't do it to myself I love color too much and it was just so nice to get back to using colours because black and white it's just not really me if you look at my Instagram feed it's just colour 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 and mainly pink to be honest I use pink a lot which you might have noticed in this video because uh, pink is nearly on almost everyone I do in this video <laughs> especially the ones which I edit on Photoshop I just can't help myself I just think pink looks so nice <laughs> I'm a big fan of this colour combination uh, that bright green pencil that I'm holding now well I'm not holding it anymore, I held it for a split second, um, but I, that's like one of my favourite colours. I Actually, you know what, I'm going to go as far to say as that's my favourite colour out of all my pencils. I use it in nearly every drawing. It looks kind of yellow right now on the camera, but it's more greenish in real life. It's like a really bright neon lime green, like yellowy lime green, and I love it. I just think it kind of goes with every colour palette, but well, that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, I kept this drawing quite scribbly. As you can see, the marks are quite loose and full of life and energy. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I like to do a base colour and then scribble on top of it in a darker colour where you can still see the light poking through from the colour underneath. I did that on the ears, but as a technique I do quite a lot in a lot of my drawings. So that's all I have to say about this, I think. I'm going to start rounding this video up. It's been a long video, it's been a very busy week. I won't make a video next week because, well, I have to write an essay for the majority of next week, so it won't be a very fun video to watch. I'll see you in two weeks though. Thank you very much for watching my video if you made it this far in. Thank you and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye!